chapter 6. The women consult, that is, Ahone and Wobe, and put their differences aside in order to give Mechane a befitting burial. The funeral arrangements include the vigil and the funeral proper. Among the things needed is a funeral fire, food items, palm wine, benches for the choir, and the involvement of Mwabak women despite their neglect of Mechane in her period of illness. Our only has been avoiding Imadi out of fear that there can be an outburst in her anger which may put the smooth preparation into jeopardy. She joins Imade in the preparation so that she does not feel neglected. She is briefed about the various activities, but she objects vehemently against the involvement of Mwabak women in the burial program, whom she accuses of ingratitude towards her sister. Despite her sister's generosity towards them, they had abandoned her to die in misery and for her cups to be eaten by dogs. Our own cautions that they should follow tradition and give their sister a befitting barrier than subject themselves to their emotions. To achieve this, they must put aside their grudge against the women of Mwabwak and include them in the preparation to give it a communal event. The vigil is a traditional element in funerals which involves the whole village. In addition, there are some funeral activities such as grave digging and lowering of the corpse into the grave which can be done only by men. Consequently, the women cannot do it. A mother retorts that if a woman digs a grave, will the cops not be buried in the grave or will the cops leave the grave? Nevertheless, she reluctantly accepts that the planning goes ahead. She is worried if Iwanginami and Tube will return the next day to be part of the funeral. Ahone shares out the various tasks such as cooking, the slaughtering of the animals and the provision of palm wine to the women, the men and the boys respectively. Imade objects to placing the benches of the choir at the center of the compound because she wants free circulation during the funeral. The vigil is very successful as the choir trails the mourners the whole night. Imade gives gifts and dances to encourage the choir. The choir puts the singing to an end by going round the village early in the morning. They do this. While they are doing this, Imade paves, pecks the compound and starts digging the grave. She digs the grave with some expertise and professionalism, leaving the other women petrified to see a woman performing such a masculine activity. But they are worried if the grave should be dug in the center of the compound. Imade ignores their worries and carries on with the digging of the grave. Ahone's attention is drawn and she is surprised but tactfully tells her sister to stop and come out of the grave. Ahone believes that Imade will heed to her advice and leaves but she intensifies the digging, making it even more deep, making it deeper. The choir returns to the compound and its members are surprised, and especially the boys who had been assigned to carry out the digging. They believe that the mother's action will deprive them of the special grief digging entertainment, and it is an affront to the manhood in Moabak. The grave diggers ask her to come out of the grave because she is challenging their masculinity and tradition of Moabak people who have never dug a grave in the center of the compound.
Traditionally, the grave is dug behind the house, and Mechana is supposed to be buried by her husband's grave. She refuses to come out, and they ignore her to meet a one whom they respect so much to show them a new place for the digging of the grave with the intention to come back and cover that which Imade had been digging. Aone comes to plead with her sister and Wobe suppress Ahone that the grave's position would disturb the other ceremonies of Ahiek and Ngando. Imado tells Moabak men that they are only interested in drinking and eating. She openly accuses them of their negligence towards Mechani, yet they want to eat during her funeral. She also tells the men that they are weaklings by allowing an evil man to come and snatch Wobi from them. This rebuke specifically touches the young man to whom Wobi had been betrothed at a young age. Emade insists that her sister will be buried where she had designated and the other family members to the line. She explains that the digging of the grave at the center of the compound is to safeguard the compound from encroachment from land grabbers. She wants to protect the land for Wobi if things don't work out for her in town where she lives with her husband. Wobi understands Imade, but she would have wished that Imade let her know about her decision before making before starting to dig the grave at the center of the compound. She, ac she accepts to allow the boys to dig the graves and Ahone appeases the choir and the grave diggers. The choir sings, leaving a mother elated as she dances with the president of the choir to the surprise of everybody. The following ideas are worthy of note in this chapter. The chapter focuses on Bakosi tradition paying attention to funerals. The vigil and the entertainment of mourners is of primordial importance. Also, the grave is prohibited from being dug at the center of the compound but behind the hut. In addition, the digging of the grave is a male ritual and special entertainment is reserved for the, for the grave diggers. We should also note, take note of a mother's feminism when she digs the graves and refuses her sister to be buried behind the house as tradition demands. A mother defied Moabak customs and she reproaches the people of neglecting her sister and accuses them of being weak to allow an evil man to snatch Obi, highlighting conflict. This attitude also portrays her as being confrontational. A mother is reproachful blunt in speech, vengeful, confrontational, intolerant, and masculinely aggressive. Aone is a foil to her sister because of her calmness, her tolerance, her politeness, and her good sense of judgment. A mother's decision to dig the grave at the center of the compound in order to safeguard land for Wobi in the future highlights love. She also accepts Mabak women to partake in the funeral out of love that Mechane be giving a befitting burial and to make her funeral to be a great success.